Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to cover uh, an issue I see uh, come up a lot with match script players who will, will come to me and say that basically they are, they're having a hard time getting the subtlety and some of the phrasing that seems to be a little bit easier for those of us that play traditional grip when we're playing jazz. And to me, there's a fairly simple solution. In traditional grip, Although we can play plenty with our wrist, we have greater access to our fingers. And a lot of the subtlety and phrasing in jazz, particularly in low volume situations where we're trying to keep a low volume, but we're also trying to be precise and get a nice crystal clear sound, our fingers are designed for that. Those like small twitch muscles. However, in matched grip, most of the time in, in German grip, really, of course you can use your fingers, but it's really more of a wrist stroke. So you, you end up relying more heavily on your wrist than you do your fingers in that stroke. And sometimes that can lead to a heavy handed sound. So two things you can do to adjust that. One, switch into French grip. That immediately gives us act, greater access to our fingers. Now granted, particularly as long as you move in correctly like this, so that the sticks basically make an 11 versus out here for, for German grip, we still have plenty of access to our wrists. We can still get nice big stick height, nice big sound, but, but our fingers are in a much better position uh, to be of use to us. I find a lot of good jazz drummers that play match grip actually play French grip. And often, most of us play French grip here on the, on the ride cymbal anyway. So consider, if you're having trouble getting a little, being a little heavy handed in your jazz play, Consider moving in and using French grip so that you can use your fingers more. However, if that's awkward or for some reason that's not a good fit for you, the other thing you can do is split the difference. Uh, they call this American grip. So we come from German grip and we just rotate in a little bit. And when we do that, we've kind of split the difference. We can still use some wrist, but we can also now ha we have greater access to our fingers. It's, it's kind of right in the middle. So in that position, one of the tricks, I think, is to go, when you go from this German grip, you actually drop, as you rotate in, you kind of drop your hand down so the stick actually lowers a little bit so that, so that you have greater access to those fingers. And then, obviously, French grip. French grip. So try either of those if you're struggling with being a little too heavy handed. It just, man, the fingers are built for that. They're going to help you keep a lower volume, but not lose any accuracy or clarity in your sound because these guys move quick but they're also very, very accurate. They're fine-tuned muscles. Let's use them to our advantage. Okay, good luck.